How to be bold in God's power. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, and of love, and of a sound mind. 2 Timothy 1 verse 7. In the early church the gospel went forth in boldness, because of the engiment of spiritual power. And when they had prayed, the place was shaken where they were assembled together. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost, and they spake the word of God with boldness. Acts 4 verse 31. But Barnabas took him, Paul, and brought him to the apostles, and declared unto them, how he had preached boldly at Damascus in the name of Jesus. Acts 9 verse 27. And he began to speak boldly in the synagogue. Acts 18 verse 26. And he went into the synagogue, and spake boldly for the space of three months, disputing and persuading the things concerning the kingdom of God. Acts 19 verse 8. We were bold in our God, to speak unto you the gospel of God. 1 Thessalonians 2 verse 2. Can I have your attention for a few seconds? Before we delve deep into this video, please help us spread the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ by supporting our Patreon page at www.patreon.com slash You will instantly gain access to over 180 Christian videos and over 400 videos about billionaire biographies and over 140 personal development videos and over 450 verse and quotes images among other goodies. If you are watching this video and you have never received Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior I'll help you do that right now because it is for this very purpose that we create these videos. Giving your life to the Lord is the best decision you can ever make in your entire life on earth. I invite you to make Jesus your Lord today. In Romans 10 verse 9 the Bible says that, If thou confess with thy mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in thine heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Please, pray this prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I believe with all of my heart that Jesus is Lord. I believe that he died on the cross and that on the third day God raised him from the dead. I believe that Jesus is the Lord of my life from this day onward. I'm now born again. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Well done for making this prayer. You are now born again. Attend a Bible-based church and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And support us on Patreon to keep learning the truth of God's word as you become an excellent Christian every day. Our Patreon page is www.patreon.com slash Link is also in the description. Let's continue with our today's topic, working the works of God. The disciples were amazed at the powerful works of Jesus. And he, Jesus, went out from thence, and came into his own country, and his disciples followed him. And when the Sabbath day was come, he began to teach in the synagogue. And many hearing him were astonished, saying, From whence hath this man these things? And what wisdom is this which is given unto him, that even such mighty works are wrought by his hands? Mark 6 verse 1-2. Jesus said, I must work the works of him that sent me, while it is day. The night cometh, when no man can work. John 9 verse 4. Jesus had a definite purpose. He must work the works of God. This was his motivation. After witnessing these works for a time, the disciples came to Jesus with this question. What shall we do, that we might work the works of God? John 6 verse 28. Jesus answered, This is the work of God, that ye believe on him whom he hath sent. John 6 verse 29. The greatest work of God was manifested in Jesus. The Lord focused the attention of his disciples upon this fact, rather than the visible demonstration of signs and wonders. True miracles always exalt Jesus. This is the work of God. Later, Jesus told his followers, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. John 14 verse 12. His followers were to do the same works he had done. The past had not exhausted the possibilities for power. They would do greater works. These works would be greater in quantity, not quality, because Jesus must return to heaven. His promise came true. Throughout the book of Acts, we witness believers doing the works of God. The sick are healed, demons are cast out, prison doors are opened, and the dead are raised again to life. Revealing God. You learn that one reason God demonstrates his power on earth is to reveal himself to man spiritual power delegated to believers is also for this purpose but when the multitude saw it they marveled and glorified god which had given such power unto men matthew 9 verse 8 through a powerful church god desires to reveal himself to the entire universe to the intent that now unto the principalities and powers in heavenly places might be known by the church the manifold wisdom of god ephesians 3 verse 10 the purpose of this revelation through power is to open their eyes and to turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan unto God, that they may receive forgiveness of sins and inheritance among them which are sanctified by faith that is in me. Acts 26 verse 18. Revealing the kingdom of God. Jesus combined the proclamation of the kingdom of God with its demonstration. When Jesus was questioned, are you the one who was to come? Luke 7 verse 19. He did not reply with argument or logic. He said, go your way and tell John what things ye have seen and heard. How that the blind see, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, and the dead are raised, to the poor the gospel is preached. Luke 7 verse 22. Power demonstrates the kingdom of God in action. 
The miracles of Jesus demonstrated that the kingdom of God was at hand. There were illustrations of what the kingdom will be like in its visible form when the new heaven and new earth are created. Casting out demons signals God's invasion of the realm of Satan and his final destruction. Matthew 12 verse 29, Mark 3 verse 27, Luke 11 verse 21, John 12 verse 31, Revelation 20 verse 1. Healing the sick looks forward to the day when all suffering will end. Revelation 21 verse 4. Miraculous provision of food tells us of a day when all human need will end. Revelation 7 verse 1. Stilling the storms looks forward to victory over the powers using nature to threaten the earth. Revelation 21 verse 1. Raising the dead announces that death will be forever done away with. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 26. Confirming the word. Powerful signs and wonders confirm the word of God. Long time therefore both they speaking boldly in the Lord, which gave testimony unto the word of his grace, and granted signs and wonders to be done by their hands. Acts 14 verse 3. And now, Lord, behold their threatenings, and grant unto thy servants, that with all boldness they may speak thy word, by stretching forth thine hand to heal, and that signs and wonders may be done by the name of thy holy child Jesus. Acts 4 verse 29 to 30. And they went forth, and preached everywhere, the Lord working with them, and confirming the word with signs following. Mark 16 verse 20. Ministry to others. The power of God rested on Jesus, to equip him for ministry. And the spirit of the Lord, shall rest upon him. The spirit of wisdom and understanding. The spirit of counsel and might. The spirit of knowledge, and of the fear of the Lord. Isaiah 11 verse 2. The spirit of the Lord God is upon me. Because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. To proclaim liberty to the captives. And the opening of the prison to them that are bound. Isaiah 61 verse 1. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. Acts 10 verse 38. And they were astonished at his doctrine, for he taught them as one that had authority, and not as the scribes. Mark 1 verse 22. The same power was evident in the ministries of believers in the early church. Paul said, Whereof I was made a minister, according to the gift of the grace of God given unto me by the effectual working of his power. Ephesians 3 verse 7. The effectual working of God's power within you results in ministry. Your ministry comes into being and develops into maturity through the power of God at work in you. Paul said, And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the Spirit and of power, that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. 1 Corinthians 2 verse 4 to 5. The early church was born in a demonstration of God's power, not through great orators or theological debate. This permitted their faith to be in God instead of the skillful speaking abilities of men. God's power enables all areas of spiritual ministry, spreading of the gospel, ministering to the sick, oppressed, and those bound with demonic powers. And Jesus came, and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore, and teach all nations, Matthew 28 verse 18 to 19. And these signs shall follow them that believe, in my name, shall they cast out devils, they shall speak with new tongues, they shall take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them, they shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. Mark 16 verse 17 to 18. And when he had called them unto him, his twelve disciples, he gave them power against unclean spirits, to cast them out, and to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. Matthew 10 verse 1. You are approved as a minister of God by the power of God, but in all things approving ourselves as the ministers of God, by the word of truth by the power of God. 2 Corinthians 6 verse 4 7. For spiritual warfare, as you fulfill the purpose of power to extend the gospel, you will encounter the opposition of Satan. Jesus has delegated power to you for spiritual warfare. He has given you power over all the power of the enemy. Behold, I give unto you power, to tread on serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Luke 10 verse 19. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord, and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Ephesians 6 verse 10-12. Can you please do us a favor? If you have been blessed by this video, please leave a comment, like this video, share this video, subscribe to this channel, and invite at least 200 plus souls, it could be family and friends, to visit Discofeth YouTube channel, so that they may hear the gospel of our dear Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and be born again. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and support us on Patreon. Our Patreon page is www.patreon.com slash Link is also in the description. Thank you and God bless you.